there were nine instances where Nikola Tesla was totally wrong about the laws of physics. Very often, the views on the world of the genius engineer Nikola Tesla were not in harmony with scientific principles and even with mathematics. Tesla is undoubtedly one of the most talented inventors and a driving force behind the development and popularization of alternating current. He is a futurist who predicts technologies like smartphones, renewable energy sources, and even the creation of artificial suns long before they exist. Despite his genius, Tesla had some questionable ideas about science and mathematics. In this video, we'll look at some of the cases where Tesla got things totally wrong. Electrons are particles that are found in atoms and are responsible for electricity and chemical reactions. Tesla rejected the notion that atoms consisted of small subatomic particles. He believed that electrons do not form an electric charge and even that they have nothing to do with electricity. This is strange considering his work on electricity. He was a supporter of the 19th century view that the aether or ether carried electrical currents. However, Physicist J.J. Thomson discovered the electron and its properties in the early 1900s. Without the electron, inventions such as the television would not have been possible. Thomson revolutionized the knowledge of atomic structure with his discovery. He received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1906 and was knighted in 1908. Relativity is a concept that explains the relationship between time and space. According to it, the laws of physics are the same for all observers, regardless of their relative motion. In the early 1900s, Nikola Tesla argued that Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity was wrong. In 1932, he stated, I strongly believe that space cannot be distorted because it has no characteristics. It is like saying that God has characteristics. In 1935, Tesla told the New York Times, Einstein's relativity is an impressive mathematical facade that bewitches and conceals the errors it contains. It resembles a beggar wrapped in purple whom ignorant people take for a king. The Gravity Probe B satellite, which measures the bending of space-time due to Earth, was launched in 2004. In 2011, Stanford University found that data from the satellite largely confirmed Einstein's theory. If it were not for the theory of relativity, the Global Positioning System GPS, would not be able to perform its navigation functions, and Google Maps would not be able to accurately determine a precise location. Tesla believed he had measured speeds faster than light. One of the reasons Nikola Tesla was so confident that Albert Einstein was wrong was that he believed he had measured a speed faster than that of light. It's a cosmic ray from Antares, the brightest star in the constellation Scorpius, which he says is traveling at speeds 50 times faster than the speed limit in the universe, but this claim remains unproven. Mathematics is a subject that requires great precision and accuracy. Nikola Tesla expressed his opinion that scientists have shifted their focus too much from experiments to mathematics, and that they often create theories that are not related to reality. Although both mathematics and experiments are essential to the development of science, it is undeniable that they are inseparable, especially in the field of physics. Around the same time in Europe, Paul Dirac tried to formulate an equation that combined quantum mechanics and special relativity, and thus predicted the appearance of antimatter, which was later discovered in 1932. He first theorized the existence of an antiparticle that has the same mass and spin as the electron, and an electrical charge equal in absolute value to that of the electron, but with the opposite sign. This particle was discovered experimentally a few years later and was named the positron. Dirac is considered one of the founders of quantum mechanics. Already in the 16th century, Galileo Galilei highly valued mathematics, noting that without it, one would wander aimlessly in a dark labyrinth. Nuclear energy is a type of energy that can be generated by splitting atoms. Of course, his lack of belief in electrons led him to believe that atoms could not be divided. In the early 1930s, Tesla expressed his opinion to the New York Times that the idea of atomic energy was illusory, but had taken such a hold on minds that, despite his preaching against it for 25 years, there were still people who believe it is feasible. He disintegrated atoms in his experiments with a high-potential vacuum tube, which he did in 1896, and considered one of his best inventions. 
He worked with it at pressures varying from 4 million to 18 million volts. He has very recently designed an apparatus for 50 million volts, which should produce many results of great scientific importance. But as regards atomic energy, his experimental observations showed that the process of disintegration was not accompanied by a release of such energy as might be expected from current theories. The atom was eventually split for the first time in 1932 by Ernest Walton. Nuclear energy is currently being used to produce electricity, as predicted by physicist Lisa Meitner. In addition, a large-scale fusion project called ITER will be established in the near future to produce energy. Electromagnetic radiation propagates in the form of waves. Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist, was able to prove the accuracy of Maxwell's equations when he was able to generate electromagnetic waves in a laboratory. Because he did not rely on his mathematical advantage, Tesla relied much more on his experiments, which led him to the erroneous conclusion that Hertz and Maxwell were wrong. In a lecture in 1891, Tesla openly expressed his objections to the theories of the two scientists. Over the next few years, however, evidence was discovered that confirmed Maxwell's electromagnetic theories. In 1898, Tesla himself created a radio-controlled boat, but still did not accept the existence of electromagnetic waves and the theories of Maxwell and Hertz until 1919. Wireless electricity is a concept that involves the transmission of electrical energy without the use of physical wires or cables. Tesla was an innovator, but his ideas were not always feasible. After mastering AC technology, he introduced a radical new concept, eliminating the need for wires. At first, the scientist planned to spread electricity through the air, but later changed his mind. In 1902, he built the Wardenclyffe Tower to transmit electricity over land. Unfortunately, engineers note that the currents will spread in all directions and become too diffuse to be useful over long distances. Furthermore, the potential dangers of wireless electricity to surrounding wildlife were not taken into account, so the Wardenclyffe Tower project had to be shelved. Guglielmo Marconi, an Italian engineer who focused on electromagnetic waves, managed to achieve wireless transmission of information rather than electricity. However, an unseen destructive event called the Tunguska phenomenon is believed to have occurred based on this Tesla experiment. Linked to a detailed video of an unidentified celestial body that flew in the form of a bolide over all of Europe and Siberia, exploded, and fell by the river Podkamenaya Tunguska in the territory of Siberia, Russia in 1908, you will find in the description of this video. Research and knowledge in the field of natural and physical sciences are constantly evolving. Although Nikola Tesla was an extremely talented engineer and innovator, he sometimes engaged in pseudoscientific thoughts that had no evidence and were devoid of experimental information, a quality he adored. For example, Tesla once stated, a single ray of light from a star in the distant sky could change the life of a tyrant long ago, which in turn would change the fate of many countries. Radioactivity is the emission of particles or radiation from the nucleus of atoms. In 1903, Marie Curie, Pierre Curie, and Henri Becquerel were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for proving the existence of radioactivity. However, Tesla thought otherwise, as he did not accept that the atom could be split and possess internal forces and subatomic particles. He argued that the radiation emitted by radioactive materials is not due to internal forces, but comes from rays emitted by the sun. In 1931, he remarked to the New York Times, if radium could be adequately shielded from these rays, it would no longer be radioactive. Undoubtedly, Nikola Tesla was a remarkable inventor and researcher whose work was the forerunner of the electrical revolution that changed people's lives. His inventions were found to work better than expected even 100 years after he created them. However, no one can be right 100% of the time, and Nikola Tesla had his mistakes. Due to the scale of his activities, they are often quite large. After all, it only proves that he too was an ordinary person like the rest of us. Einstein himself expressed his admiration for Tesla's achievements, writing to him personally, as an outstanding pioneer of the field of high-frequency current, I congratulate you on your life's achievements. Although Tesla was an extraordinary genius, he was still human. 
and feelings of envy, rejection, and disappointment affected his professional life. His refusal to accept modern science caused him to lag behind his contemporaries, Marconi, Braun, and Bose, in their contributions to the field of wireless communications. Undeniably, Tesla has achieved something that others have only dreamed of. And why the numbers 3, 6, and 9 are considered by Nikola Tesla to be the key to the universe, you can learn in our video, to which you will find a link in the description. Share your thoughts on the topic in a comment. Support us by subscribing to the channel and sharing this video.